In today's episode, we're going to take a quick look at a Euro Truck Simulator. There really isn't any. There's no story, the graphics are alright, and there's also barely any music. You drive. No. Alright, so maybe we should dive into this game a little bit more. But in all honesty, the bit at the beginning wasn't too far off from the amount of things we have to say about the game. Let's take a real look at Euro Truck Simulator. Euro Truck Simulator was released in 2008 and was developed and published by SCS Software, who primarily focus on simulation games. They were formed in 1997 and are based in Prague, Czech Republic. Some other games they released were 18 Wheels of Steel, German Truck Simulator, Bus Driver, and a few other variants of a truck simulator. The map in Euro Truck Simulator is based off of actual European roads with the intent to be as accurate as possible. An update to the game shortly after release added content with new destinations and roads. In 2009, one year after release, a maintenance update was released. This was the last update made to Euro Truck Simulator, with all attention being focused on the company's next title. The game sold over 300,000 copies in Europe alone. With this success came the development of Euro Truck Simulator 2, which was released in 2012. Loading up the game gives you a pretty straightforward menu screen with all of your basic options. When you start a new game, you have to select the area you would like to start in, and then which truck you would like to purchase. Though there are a lot of options for the trucks, you can only afford one with the amount of money you're given to start with. As expected with a driving simulator, there isn't a story involved. You're just an unnamed character who makes deliveries between cities, with your only objective being to make more money to buy nicer trucks and unlock new areas. SCS Software put a painstaking amount of detail into the models used for this game, and based them off of real life trucks. They even went as far as making the interior equally as detailed. This would make sense though since most of the time you'll be driving from within the truck. The instruments inside the truck such as indicator lights, gauges, warning lights for low fuel and temperature, and windshield wipers all work as well. The amount of detail on these trucks is impressive, and you can definitely tell they put a lot of time into it. However, the same can't be said about the outside environment. We're not saying that the assets are bad, it's just really noticeable that a lot of time wasn't put into this part of the game. With that being said, everything still looks pretty good. The environment isn't bad to the point of being distracting, and when you get into cities you can see a decent bit of detail on the buildings. One thing that was very distracting though, was the lack of music. This game has literally no music during gameplay. While in the menus you can hear a generic sounding rock song, other than that, there's nothing. Instead, you have to go through your folders for the game and add your own music. When this is done, you can turn on the radio in the truck and listen to the tracks that you added. This seemed like too much of a pain for us, so we just put on Spotify so we had something to listen to. As we stated before, your only objective is to drive and make deliveries. You pick up products in one city and have to take them to another city. That's pretty much it. Along the way, you'll run into the common issues of getting tired or needing to refuel. This adds a bit of planning to your trip so that you can make it to your destination as fast and efficiently as possible. You start off the game only having a limited area to deliver to, but once you build up your savings, you can start to expand into other cities, meaning you need to unlock other cities by purchasing them. This actually leads to a lot of back and forth between the same cities, taking the same paths and never really seeing anything new. Once you save up enough, you can then purchase other trucks or new destinations. With the amount of money needed to actually do anything in the game, alongside how much you could pay for work, not factoring in gas, you would have to play this game for a very long time before making any real progress. Alongside fuel costs, if you hit guardrails, buildings, or any other object, you can do damage to the vehicle. This will cause your truck to move slower than normal until you pay a mechanic to fix it. You can also visit the mechanic to add upgrades to your vehicle. If you happen to hit another vehicle, or break the rules of the road, such as running red lights, then you'll be fined after making your delivery. If your fines cost more money than you currently have, then it's a game over. 
We also wanted to test out the sleeping mechanic in the game. We were curious as to what would happen if you continually drive even though you desperately need sleep. Well, the answer is nothing. Your screen gets dark, but you never fall asleep or lose control of the vehicle. This made the game a bit easier, knowing we didn't have to waste time sleeping. Though we're pretty sure that it did make us drive a bit slower. As with many games this season, Euro Truck Simulator is a long-term investment of your time and can't be beaten in just a few days. It's designed to keep you engaged and always wanting to play just a little bit more to hopefully buy that new city or truck. Unfortunately, it's so repetitive that we lost the motivation to keep playing very quickly. Knowing that these games can't be beaten anytime soon, we really have to base our conclusions on if it holds up based on if we would go back and play them again if we had the chance to invest some time into it. Because of the amount of time needed to even make a dent in the progress in this game, we have to say that this game doesn't hold up at all. Just like with The Sims, once we played for a while we decided to use a money cheat and unlock everything in the game. Honestly, this didn't change anything at all. It was still as if we were playing from the very beginning. To end this episode, we started in the corner of the map and drove to the farthest point on the other side of the map to see how long it would take with the best truck. Here's a time lapse of our hour trip. Wow!